You're not gonna believe this. Hey guys, it's Viv and this is Stitches and Seams. Thanks for coming back and joining me today. Um, there's a lot of fabric here. So I'm just gonna jump in because none of us have all day. <laughs> um, what I will do is if I can find the fabric still on the website or wherever I found it, then I'll link it. If not, I'll just tell you where I got it from. Some of the prices probably will have changed because there were sales and that kind of thing. So what inf whatever information I can find for you, I will put it in the description box below, okay? So let's just go ahead and jump in. So <clears throat> Fabric Mart was having a cotton lawn sale and so I jumped on that. I found this one and I, I, it was a different, it's not the print that I thought I ordered, but apparently I did. Uh, so anyway, yeah, it's just a cotton lawn with navy background. And I fully intend to use this for some PJs. I am in desperate need of them. So yeah, absolutely gonna be comfortable and love, it. love those because I get hot when I sleep. So the lawn will be really nice. <clears throat> Then I spotted this one for Jack and I only got a yard of this because I'm going to use it for bias tape to do the insides of shirts and things like that for him. I thought that would be kind of cool once it's cut on the bias. It'll be like a little pennants. Be a little kind of neat. Then the third thing that I got from Fabric Mart was my little red dress project uh, fabric. And this is a crepe knit. <clears throat> I had never heard of that before, which isn't surprising. I haven't heard of a lot of things, but you know, I just figured I'd say that. <laughs> um, this is really nice. Um, it, this was one of, was it one of Sue's picks? I can't remember. I think it was one of Sue's picks, but it is just like, it's the perfect shade of red. It's not like super orange. It's like really red. It's really red. I like it. Anyway, I'm not going to tell you what pattern I'm going to use, but yeah, that is that fabric. Then Knit Pop was having a sale. Oh gosh, this was a while ago. So this is not all like uh, last week. This is over probably two or three months now. Um, yeah, so it's over two or three months. Anyway, uh, they were having some French Terry and I picked these up because who doesn't love French Terry? I love French Terry. Everybody loves French Terry. Um, it's so super soft. And I thought one of the girls, one of my girls might like this for a cardigan or um, they might even want some joggers now. Who knows? Um, so yeah, that's one of them. And then I also found this one, which I had this print previously. It's not a French Terry. It's just a jersey. <clears throat> but it was just so pretty and I, I had made the Patterns for Pirates brunch blouse out of it, but when I lost weight, it didn't fit anymore and I couldn't size it down. So I had to donate that. But yeah, so I thought maybe one of the girls might want to be matchy with mommy. I highly doubt that because they're kind of too old for that, but who's, who knows? We'll see. Uh, then I, my oldest daughter, wanted to be Wendy Darling from Peter Pan for Halloween. So she asked me if I could make her a costume. So I was like, sure, I'll give it a go. And I knew exactly what I wanted to do. Wanted to do um, Tilly and the Buttons, Megan uh, bodice. And then on the bottom, I was just gonna put a humongous rectangle of fabric. And so I went on, I believe it's fabric, fabric, warehouse. I'll put the information here and found this crepe and it was the absolute perfect color for it. Um, so I got a whole bunch of that. I have a little bit left over. So maybe an Ogden Kimmy for the mama. And then I've got this to match it, but it does, it doesn't match at all. You can see that here. Take a look at that. It does not match. 
So when she was up visiting a couple of weeks ago, we went and stopped by Joanne and my husband actually found a perfect, uh, perfect knit that would go with it. So I'll try to put a picture in here so that you guys can see her costume. Um, it worked out really great. She loved it. So that's good. <laughs> The next one is from Blackbird Fabrics, and this I got for Jack uh, because I was going to be doing some chinos for him for Sew Man Pants, and this is actually chino fabric. That's what it was listed on on their website. The shipping for the states was actually quite quite reasonable, and. Uh, I really like the quality of the fabric. It's good stuff. So obviously they didn't get made up. <laughs> kind of ran out of time. So I will be making these in the future. I just had some issues with the pattern that I have to kind of tweak to his body. It's not the pattern. It's, you know, making the pattern fit the body. You know, you know the drill. So yeah, that is coming eventually. And that'll be a, a really nice pair of chinos for him. So there's that one. And then uh, recently, Fashion Fabrics Club, and you guys know I've, I've shopped there for a couple years now. Um, they're kind of up or down. Sometimes you're going to get stuff and you're going to be like, oh, that's amazing. Other times you're going to be like, what the hell did they send me? <laughs> um, and I have a mixed bag this time. Um, let's see. I have to turn over here and get it. Sorry. Erk. <laughs> big pile of fabric. I saw that they were having uh, French terry and sweater knits for $3.95 a yard. So I hop skipped over there to the website because I don't really do that um, and found some stuff that would work. This one I picked out for the young one. It is a French terry and it is on the lighter weight scale, uh, but I think it'll be perfect for a pair of joggers that she doesn't really want to like, you know, freeze or she doesn't really want to like, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not cold enough for like the heavy ones. I think this one will work perfectly for kind of like a, a lighter weight one. Then this is the same one that Natita got um, that she was kind of bummed about. It's not the greatest. I'm not going to lie. It, it it leaves a little something to be desired. It's not very fuzzy. And this is even after washing it. Um, all my fabrics get treated however they're going to be treated prior to being put up uh, because I don't I don't want to face that. Did I wash this? Did I not wash this? Because I can't remember. So I just go ahead and do everything before I even bother putting it in here. So yeah, this is the army green French Terry. Jack is going to get a pair of joggers out of this. This is, I think it was slate gray. And this is kind of along the same lines. Uh, this is a little bit softer actually than the army green one. Uh, but yeah, it'll be fine for some joggers that just, to be, you know, kind of lounging in. It's it's definitely not what I had hoped for, but it will be used. Then this was my my gigantic mist. This was called Steel Blue Sweater Knit. And it is more like like a tissue weight t-shirt type of thing. Um, but it feels like plastic, like straight up plastic, all the, the cut edges here. And even along the selvages, it just, it feels like burnt plastic. So, I mean, it's whatever. I'll use it for a muslin or something when I need some, because it, you know, it has stretch in it. No problem. It doesn't have very good recovery. As you can see, look at that. It just stays distorted, but whatever. It'll work for a muslin. <sighs> you and some, you lose some. So there's that one. And then Myra during So Man Pants had been putting up inspiration photos on Instagram and she put up a sweater of this fella in a blue and white navy striped sweater, a navy blue and white striped sweater. And I was like, I like that. Jack saw it and he was like, I like that. So of course off I trotted to find some fabric and I found it. Though I will add here, 
most of you ladies, wanted the fella and not the fabric. He was cute. Anyway, so onto this. So it's really soft. It would make a lovely sweater. However, it's a little bit, you'll be able to see here, a little bit see-through. See that? So yeah, Jack doesn't really want to wear that. So what I'll do is I'll either make myself a cardigan or make one of the kids a cardigan, or I can do a sweater that I would wear like a camisole underneath. Um, because I don't, you know, I don't mind doing that. <clears throat> so there's that one. Okay. And then this is the last one from Fashion Fabrics Club. And this was my, my definite win. I uh, have a ready to wear shirt that I've been wanting to copy and I wanted it in olive because I've been really wanting some more olive in my wardrobe. So this is a twill shirting. The problem for the dress that are the shirt that I wanted to copy is this is not going to, it has a little bit too much body. It's too many, uh, too much stiffness, uh, for that particular purpose, but I will use it because it is really nice. It's lovely and soft. Um, I think this is going to really sew up nicely and yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. I, I, uh, might make like a Cheyenne button up out of it, or maybe the Mila shirt from It's to Itch to Stitch. I can't even talk today. So yeah, there's that one. So that's all from Fashion Fabrics Club. And we'll move on to LA Finch Fabrics. Now they had put up, um, it was a sale or something. I can't remember, this was months ago. But anyway, they had some cone mills denim and I know that that is like actually running out, you know, that, that mill closed and there's only a very limited supply left. So they had some cone mill stretch denim available and I got some because I wanted to make some ash jeans and that's what this is. This is the cone mills denim. Um, really lovely. It, it's a little bit lighter weight than I had anticipated, but I don't really mind that. So that is Cone Mills denim. And then this was some sweatshirting they had. And I've already made myself a pair of joggers out of this. And I fully intend to make another pair with some more of this. Um, it's kind of like fleecy backed. So soft and so lovely and cozy. So this one I am uh, going to do another pair of joggers. And different trim though because the last pair I did black but we'll find some other kind of trim to use for that so that's LA Finch fabric then there is fabric.com so when we chose our color palette for this house um, we went with like a coastal theme not beach but coastal and um, I had seen a pottery barn flyer or something like that. And I wanted to recreate these, they call them table throws. And so this is a piece of like a, it's linen, but it's more like a home deck type linen because it is quite weighty. And so what I want to do is I want to make that table throw out of that. I just haven't gotten a chance to yet. And part of it, it's fringed at the ends and that kind of thing. So I am planning on doing that. It's just really lovely. It's nice. It'll make a nice throw. So there's that. Then I had ordered some ribbing for Jack's joggers that you will have seen in the Sew Man Pants video, but this is the entirely wrong type of ribbing. Um, I had a doozy of a time trying to find what I wanted, but this is more like what you would use for the Nico top or, um, you know, like a tank top type deal. This is Rug Paper Co. Isn't it so beautiful? I know I'm going fast and I sound like I just ran a race. I feel like I just ran a race. <sighs> Maybe that'll help. This is, okay, yeah, it doesn't really say, but this is Raffle Paper Co. Cotton Steel uh, Rayon and it is lovely and scrumptious and I absolutely want to wear this very soon. So I don't know what it's going to be yet, but it's going to be something. Okay, then I finally found 
some ribbing and I found it, it's called AA Cotton Creations and I'll link it in the description box below for ribbing for Jack's joggers, my joggers and Lorelai's, oh, young one's joggers, Lorelai, that's my young one. Um, so she's she had a pretty good selection. There's another person on Etsy that uh, I probably will be ordering from soon. So I'll let you know how that quality is also. Let's see, then I made a style maker fabrics purchase and I went there looking for Jack's some sweater knits for so man pants and of course when I was there found something for myself and I'll show you the pictures of Jack's cardigans so you can see the fabrics and then this is the one that I picked for myself and it's really nice I cannot wait to make a cardigan out of this it look at the back it's like fuzzy so fuzzy um yeah I really, 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 really want to make a cardigan out of this. That's probably needs to be top of the list. Top of the list, Viv. Top of the list. Okay. So there's that. I'm gonna fold all this stuff back. I'm trying to be neat because I gotta put it back. <laughs> and then I also ordered from Minerva Craft. I have been looking for eons for red stretch denim. You would think that that would be pretty easy to find. Not so. And also white stretch denim like good white stretch denim that's not see-through when you wear it so anyway found red stretch denim at Minerva Craft and this is actually a Lady McElroy fabric <clears throat> and I have already made my jeans uh, the Jolly Eleanor pull-on jeans and the it was delightful to sew really nice no problems whatsoever I love the jeans. I should have made them a little bit smaller. I didn't think I had lost more weight, but apparently I had. So they're a little bit baggy, but you know, whatever. I got dog hair, sorry. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, um, I have quite a bit left. So we'll see what happens with that. <sighs> and then while I was there, they had this, it's called, it's shower proof. If I find it, I'll link it. Um, but it's like a, is it a garbadine or a twill? I can't remember, but I'm hoping to make, well, not hoping it, I am going to do it. Hold me to it. The waiver jacket from Paper Cut Patterns. Amanda made this last year or the, yeah, I think it was last year or maybe early this year. And she said it was really simple sew and, you know, she enjoyed it, blah, blah, blah. So that is what this is for, um, to make my waiver jacket. And of course I decided to go crazy and put navy blue and hot pink together. I like it. I think it works and I think it'll be fun to wear. So those are those two. And then last, but certainly not least, I had been to Joann's and of course, you know, some of this is other people's fault. I'm just kidding. It's all my fault. Anyway, um, my middle girl is a huge, uh, Harry Potter fan. And I found the map, uh, fabric and so, yep, yeah, I picked up a couple or a co I think I caught a yard and a half of this, but we decided we'll make her some pajamas with that because this is not a color that would look good on her skin. So she'll have her some Harry Potter PJs, which will be cute. Then the oldest girl is a huge, I'm going to get the fabric out of the way, huge, uh, beauty and the beast fan. And she's also, you know, Disney princess and yellow is her favorite color. So when I saw this, I knew that I had to get it. And I'll be making her probably Patterns for Pirates Layer Me Up t-shirt or the favorite tee from Patterns for Pirate. I can get generally get those out of a yard of fabric for us. So there's that. Then when I was a couple weeks ago, I think Natita had put on our Instagram stories about Joanne having denim on sale and the coupons were stacking. So I went ahead and went uh, because you can always use denim. Um, you might recognize this. I made Jack some Jutland pants out of this uh, exact fabric. Um, I think it was November of last year. I can't remember. No, I don't know. 
can't remember when it was, but it's on my Instagram feed. But anyway, I made him the Jutland pants from Thread Theory. And since he's lost weight also, those, well, they were always too big for him, but now they're really too big for him. So he needs some new ones of those. And then I picked up myself some denim because I want to muslin the ash jeans before I break into the precious cone mills denim. And this will work for that purpose. Um, and hopefully they'll be wearable because I need jeans like for realsies. <laughs> then I went, it's the, it's the typical story. I needed a zipper. I went for a zipper. I went for a is it one zipper and I found other stuff. Did I get the zipper? I did not get the zipper. <laughs> Oh, anyway, I'll have to go back. <laughs> um, Natita had been making her husband some shirts for Sew Man Pants, and she mentioned that she was using Supima cotton that uh, Joanne had. And so when I was looking for my zipper <laughs> that I didn't buy, I happened to be looking in the app to see what coupons were available, and Supima cotton was 60% off. And that's a really good deal because this stuff is like, $15 a yard, I think. So, um, with 60% off, it becomes a reasonable price for me. So what I did was I picked up two colorways for Jack. One is this, uh, Navy, um, Navy blue. It's not the, on the, on the bolt, it wasn't called Navy. I can't remember. I think it might've been ocean deep or something like that. I'm horrible with names. Uh, but yeah, I picked this one up for him because he looks good in Navy. And I like navy on him, and I have to look at him. So I might as well put him in stuff I like. Just kidding, babe. Then this one is russet. Um, and it's another color that looks really good on him. <clears throat> and if he doesn't like it, I like it. Just saying. <laughs> so yeah, just another same exact thing as the last one, Supima Cotton. Really, really nice. I uh, didn't know what all the fuss was. And now I know it is really nice and I'm really looking forward to working with this stuff. So hopefully be able to get to that soon. So that is it. You guys, that is the massive, ridiculous fabric haul that mind you, it was, it's over, it's been over like the past three months. So it's not so bad when you break it down into that, but yeah, don't judge. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And thanks for joining me today for all of you that have stuck with me. Thanks very much. And to all the new subscribers, thank you. Welcome. I hope you find what you like here and that is it for today, guys. We'll talk to you soon. So take care. Bye. Bye.